What's happening, automotive pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this. It's a TD309 for 96 in newer cars. It's an OBT, OBD2 scanner, onboard diagnostics. Uh, nice little handheld scanner. I've been checking these things out. I've been really impressed with them. They're, they have The prices on these things have come way, way down. And so if you work on your car, if you have a little bit of an older car, and uh, you are trying to diagnose trouble codes, you have a check engine light on, this is what you need. Um, this will tell you OBD is primarily for uh, emissions issues so it's usually oxygen sensor or uh, you know a uh, bad gas cap or uh, mass airflow meter all that kind of stuff often your car will run and it'll just run poorly engine cylinder misfire you know all those things right so here is a uh, handheld sensor and like I said you know pretty economical blue plastic looks like we have an enter button and a scroll button right there looks like a pretty big LCD right here very light a little texturing on the back and then you have oh, about a two foot cable with the OBD port right there so let's go out to the car fortunately I don't have any codes on at the moment but Let's try it out and see if it works. All right, so I plugged in the OBD code reader, and as you can see, the blue plastic kind of lights up with the uh, backlight for the LCD screen, which is very readable, and I don't even have the car powered up yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn the power in this GMC terrain to accessory on. There we go. And then drop the OBD reader. Um, and so, as you can see here, if I press enter, it'll, it's going to scan it. So, I'm just going to hit enter here. Yeah. My jams. That's my jam. Okay. And what it says is it says read codes, erase codes, view freeze frame. Um, so, I'm just going to go down here, scroll down. See what else it says. Vehicle info and exit. So I'm just going to go up here to read codes. Hit enter. No codes are stored in the module. Press any key to continue. That's pretty awesome. So the good thing is, and I knew because I don't have a check engine light on that I don't have any codes, but this TD309 code reader uh, definitely does its job and uh, super, super small, super compact, kind of glows and it's kind of cool with the LCD light uh, backlight on. Um, just a nice little handy dandy thing to have. You know, one of the things that I was thinking about is buying another car, a uh, used car. And so having an OBD2 reader like this, it's something you can take along with you on your inspection, plug it in, just make sure there aren't any pending codes. It could save you a ton of money if there's a bad transmission or a cylinder misfire or something like that where they've just cleared the codes, but do you have some pending codes? So it could save you a ton of money and they are really, really inexpensive these days. So I'm really excited that, uh, you know, this kind of, um, you know, diagnostic tool is available to us in the amateur uh, mechanic world. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Pand out.